Hey Flawless King Gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Selek Kalio and I am a Nigerian-based beauty influencer and also a DIY skincare specialist. I create weekly videos on beauty and I also teach you how you can create your own DIY skincare products at home. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, you definitely want to subscribe to this channel down below, hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I put out a video and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it does help my video a lot. If you are a returning subscriber, hey best friend, welcome back. On today's video i am going to be um doing a video based on your request now um in my previous video i said i was going to start you know going through your messages and picking out frequently asked um topics and then i will create videos around that now today i'm going to be creating a video on how you can check the stability of your product that is how to test the stability of your skincare products now i'm going to start a series talking about the basics of skincare formulation because a lot of you have issues with that. It's not enough to just create videos on how you can make these products. You have to also understand the basics of skincare formulation and just know the things that you know you should do and shouldn't do and all of that. So this video is going to be part of my um, formulators guide or skincare for beginners series and this is going to be put in a kind of a um what they called it again a group no a i don't know what it's called but basically where you put a lot of videos um i can't remember it but i'm going to leave a link here for you guys to see and i hope that um i don't know if it's here or here i keep making a mistake by the way do you like my shirt <laughs> it's a two-piece set and it's really cute and i like it so um the first question is what is stability testing stability testing in skincare formulation like i said i have my notes here so <laughs> don't worry stability testing on cosmetics and skincare products provides important insight into a product's shelf life and it also helps you the formulator um, ensure that your products have high quality and this product is also safe for consumption by your end users okay understanding the product's stability can be achieved through monitoring the changes in integrity of your product over time and basically just checking the quality and checking that everything is still um useful all right if i'm going to be testing the stability of my product the first thing i want to do is understand um what exactly i'm producing um writing out or picking out the ingredients that i want to use for my formulation so the first thing you're looking at is the compatibility of these ingredients that you're putting together to create this emulsion. So you start with what products you're making, the ingredients you're using, the pH of each of these ingredients you're using, and also the preservative you're using because the shelf life of your, of your products deeply or strongly depends on the kind of preservation that you're giving this product. So if, you, if you're using um, a preservative that is not meant for the kind of emotion or the kind of products you're making at the end of the day you end up wasting your time wasting your money and you know you're not getting the products or the the results that you want so the first thing you're checking is the product that you're making the ingredients that you're using the um, stability of these ingredients like the compatibility of these ingredients together and also the pH and the preservative you're using. So after I have done my research on my ingredients and I have also um, checked what kind of preservative I want to use or preserving um, method I want to use, I will move on to creating my formula, okay? All right, so the first thing that I want to do, like I said, is create my formula that puts in the percentage of each ingredient, how I'm going to combine them and all of that. And then I'm going to convert that to my recipe. Wait, I think I have a video on that, on how you can create your um, 
recipes transfer your formulas to your formulas to recipe i'm going to link the video somewhere around here or here so um you go ahead and you write your recipes and then and go on to formulation now when i'm doing my recipe i'm going to do that recipe for a 100 gram batch now this 100 gram batch is like my tester batch remember this is a new re recipe Yes. They brought back the light. Hey, yay, yay. So after turning your formula into your recipe, you want to create a tester batch. Now remember, this is a product, assuming this is a product that you have never done before, because for you not to have any stability testing on that product, it means it's a new product that you're just developing. So you want to make sure that you um you know make a smaller batch like a hundred gram batch that's what i will do i'll create a hundred gram batch of this product and then i will test it i will check the feel of the product i will test the ph of the product i will test the smell of the product i will test i'll see if i like the aesthetics of the product that's the look of the man looking at the product what does it look like is it beautiful um i'll check a lot of all these things and then if there's anything that i want to change in that tester i will go ahead to change it for example if i if the product is too runny and i don't want it to be as runny i will increase the emul the emulsifier or increase the hard butters or increase just tweak the recipe around to get the um, consistency that you want or the viscosity that you want and then after that i will check for the smell because there are some ingredients that have really bad smell so sometimes when you combine that and the essential oil that you want to use you might end up having a disastrous smell so i will check the smell if it's okay so i'm going to check for all of these things i'm checking for the smell if i like the smell if i like the color do i like the feel and absorption into my skin do i like the viscosity of the product and all these things and then after doing this i will go back to my drawing board i usually have a um formulation charts where i i write all my formulas if there's any changes that i make if there are um, um things that i want to change i want to tweak everything maybe i'm going to make a video on how i create my recipes and you know how i write out my formula in my chat so after doing this i will go back and make the, assuming there's any changes that i made i will go back and try to create another 100 gram batch using the improved um formula and then when i do that and i see that the product is good i will go back to my chart and i'll record it and say you know the smell is this you know everything that i have checked and i will tick them as correct now after that what i will do is create a maybe a 500 gram batch that 500 gram batch i will um, separate it or I'll create like a hundred ml depending on the product that i am formulating if it's a face cream face creams are usually in smaller containers like in a 50 gram container and all but what i would do is i will create this product and bottle it and package it as i would package it and give to a customer or a consumer that way i'll be able to tell if this product is going to be safe in this container or not remember that we are checking for stability of the product so you want to you want to bottle your product and mimic every process or everything that that cream will go through so that you are able to tell how long that product will last okay so um i'm going to make if i'm making a body cream and my body creams are usually in 200 ml containers 300 ml containers 500 ml containers you know as the case may be now i will bottle the product in the exact bottle that i will use to sell to a consumer and then i will keep that aside remember we have made a maybe a 500 ml batch now i will separate the 300 grams that i will put in the exact container let me show you what my 300 ml bottle looks like so this is my 300 gram body cream okay this is what it looks like this is the container especially for creams that have you know sensitive ingredients in them i bottle them in a dark container now you're checking 
the quality of your your containers make sure you're not buying containers that are cheap just because you want to you want to save cost make sure you are buying containers that are durable and are very very that can withstand weather and and every other thing that your product will go through now i will create a 500 ml badge this is a 300 gram container i will fill this up to the brim package it do everything that i'm supposed to do when i'm sending it to a customer i will keep that aside and then i will go ahead to use the remaining 200 to put in different containers now i can put it in up to 500 uh, up to five different containers what i will do is i will save them in those containers and put them in strategic places that i know the product will go through for example i'm sending a product to canada i want to be able to test for um you know temp the temperature change it's really hot here in nigeria so i want to check if the product will be able to withstand the temperature in canada i also want to check if the product will withstand uh, the temperature in countries that are really really hot i also want to check the um, product stability in a room temperature so what i do is i'll put one of the products in my bathroom in my my bathroom is like one of the most mo one of the moistest places and you know it carries all the all sorts of bacteria that you you can think about so i put one of the containers there um to check for moisture and you know how fast it will get contaminated and then i take another bottle i put it on top of my fridge or by my window because it is really hot here in in abuja right now right now so i'll put it by the window um and that will mimic the temperature of heat how how can this product withstand heat and then i'll take another product another container i'll put it in my fridge my fridge is the best place to preserve a product and it is the coolest place as well so i will go ahead and store the product in my fridge and then i'll also put some of one of the product in a very dark place in a drawer or something and then i'll take another one and put in my room which my room is going to serve as the room temperature and this is just helping us mimic all the different um changes that the cream can go through we can't always um wait for the the long period of time to make a product for example if i'm going to be testing the shelf life of this product i will want to keep it for as long as possible you keep ch checking the changes of course um we cannot check for um micro micro you know bacterial growth because we don't have the facilities there and that is the only thing that a lab will do that we can do at home that that's that's where I, you if you want to you can take your product to a lab to check the stability for you or the shelf life for you but if i'm doing this at home um i'm going to be very very careful with bacteria i'm going to make sure i am cleaning all my surfaces i'm going to make sure that i am um, cleaning all my utensils, my hands, everything that I'm going to be using to create that product will be thoroughly clean with bleach and, you know, disinfected for use. Okay. So after placing all those ingredients, all those products in these specific places, um, I will leave them there for as long as I can, because what I'm looking for is the, is the change in the quality of the product. So definitely, the product will not remain the same it is it is very very impossible for the product to remain the same but what we are checking for is how fast does this product degrade now definitely there's going to be a degradation there's going to be changes in, in in the ph there's going to be change in the color and all of that but we are look we don't want the the changes to be drastic or to be very very um visible or noticeable we want to ch look out for changes that are very very gradual like almost invisible so what i'll do is i'll leave all those products in those areas that i've kept them and i'll keep checking them periodically maybe in a period of one month i check i just keep checking until i see that the product has degraded to a point where it is no longer um, safe to use okay because the quality of your product or the safety of your 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 customers is your responsibility so i'm going to leave them there for as long as the product remains 
um, the same of as long as the changes are not visible okay so if the changes at six months is still okay for me to still use this product i will continue to keep it until it gets to a point where it is no longer usable please if you don't understand anything that i'm saying leave a comment in the comment section i'll be very very happy to clear um your confusion okay so after doing that because we cannot wait for the product to you know stay for 12 months or eight months or six months before we create the product we do what we call accelerated testing now this accelerated testing like i said earlier i'm going to put the bottle the product in the containers that i'm going to use to send it to you as a consumer and then i will do the accelerated testing now the accelerated testing is a kind of um testing to check the limit of the product okay so the first thing i do is i take this bottle and i put it in my freezer all right i put it in my freezer for maybe 24 hours and then i bring it out from my freezer and i keep it in, in a room um in a room for it to tar once it's tarred, i take it outside into the sun and i keep it there for maybe six hours and then i bring it back i check the changes like I said, I always have a sheet. Maybe I will do, I will try to create this um, formulation sheet or stability testing sheet. Maybe I'll create a PDF of it and I'll link it in the video. I pray I'm able to do it, please. If I don't do it, please don't cut off my neck. But I'll try and do it. Even if I don't do it in this video, I'll, I'll put it in another video. Or later on when I'm, I'm done with it, I will put it in the description of this video just always check the description so i would create the pdf um, um sheet of my how i create my recipes and also um how you can test your stability and i'll put it there for you to download and use that for your own business or your personal use as well so moving on i'm going to check the um the, the smell after this first run i'll check the smell i'll check the color i'll check the ph i'll check the stability of the um i'll check the ph i'll check the uh, viscosity of the product how if the 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 it's runny or it's thicker or it's runnier than before i'll check the absorption on the skin how it feels on the skin and then i will record all that then i go through the circle again i put it in the freezer again for another 24 hours and then i bring it out again and do the same thing record the changes i'll do that for at least sometimes i do it up to six times sometimes i just do it maybe three four times now if your product is able to go through this accelerated testing in a round of six your product and it stays the same or the, the change is not visible then definitely your product is safe enough to last you at least up to 12 months okay now um for you to get that because we can't test for microbials and all we can only see molds okay but we can't test for the microbials that you need at least microscopes and all of that to be able to see that so make sure that your your products are done in a very very hygienic environment okay make sure your poles are properly wiped with bleach your counters your utensils and everything that you're using are properly clean so that you don't introduce microbials because if you if you use a product that is contaminated on your skin you definitely will have issues with your product now knowing that this product has passed the accelerated testing i will now go ahead to record the final ph that is why um we always give you a range in your ph make sure your product is in a very very good range where even if it drops it doesn't really affect the product if it increases it doesn't really affect the product as well and um i get questions about um some people tell me oh i did everything that you asked us to do but i still have issues yes let me explain that um sometimes your ingredients are also culprits in create making your products go bad easily now let me explain why this is a lot of people just go into the business of selling skincare um, products or skincare tools as they call it or skincare ingredients without actually understanding what skincare formulation entails now if you don't understand what skincare is and you are going into skincare business you cause a lot of problems for some people a lot of people now imagine you're buying a product um, an ingredient that has been produced over two years 
okay and you're trying to and maybe the, the shelf life for that ingredient is two years and it has been produced for almost two years or over two years and you want to may use that ingredient to produce a product that you can keep for at least 12 months it's not possible do you understand it's not possible that is why i always advise you to buy your ingredients from reputable sellers who understand skincare formulation now if your manufacturer says this product should be used after shouldn't be used after two years and a seller has had that product on her shelf for almost one and a half year or um for like 24 months and all of that and they sell it to you there's no way that product will last the product that you're making with those ingredients there's no way they will last for up to one year because the ingredient itself is already um expired okay that's why you get a lot of people they sell you creams and you you use it on your skin and you start having rashes on your face you start having reactions don't get me wrong there are other factors that can cause reactions on your face there are other factors that can make you um have you know skin reactions it's not just the ex expired products but most of the time when you use products that the ingredients are already expired and you're making products in large quantity without having a large market for it you end up having issues you sell products that are already expired to customers and they put it on their skin and end up having rashes and so many other skin irritations that are not supposed to be there and they run back to you and say oh my products the product you sold me is bad oh my face is breaking out and you'll be like ah what's going on i use the exact recipe yes you use the exact recipe but you have used ingredients that have expired okay so because you're buying these ingredients in small quantities and they are not really writing the shelf life of your products you end up with products that are bad okay especially products that contain water after I have gone through the accelerated testing and I know and see that the product remains the same or at least the change is not so visible, then I know that that product can last up to 12 months or 18 months or 15 months depending on how the changes are. So if I create a cream and the cream had a white color very white color the first day that i make it of course it will stay white forever it will start changing colors as the days go by but if it changes from if it changes from white to maybe a very mild off white color i don't have a problem if it changes like if the color goes from white to maybe a slight off white after three four um accelerated testing i know that that product can at least stay on the shelf for up to 12 months the product can stay on the shelf but if the, the the color changes drastically maybe it goes from color one to color three then we after the first uh, three or four accelerated testing then i know that that product will only last at least one year and it should be off the shelf another thing that i do is i don't make my products in large quantities like i don't make my products more than 10 at once except you have a very big market okay um i have people who buy in bulk when you buy in bulk that's the only time i will you know um make a product in a 20 liter container or a 20 20 liter badge or thereabout but if i'm making the products just to keep on the shelf i don't make more than 10. i'd rather be making products every week than have products on the shelf for more than a month do you understand because i definitely know that i don't i'm not able to test the um actual stability of this product i'm only you know guessing by doing this but is it it's accurate because the products stay the way they are for the number of years depending on you know a lot of factors now another thing that you have to look out for especially if you have international customers and you need these products to be shipped out what i do is i try to create a kind of a movement for a long period of time i just put it in my mixer bowl <laughs> mixer and i just keep put it on low so that it just moves the product around and it moves the bottle like that for a period of time just to see if 
the product viscosity changes because most of the time i ship my products out of nigeria and i want to make sure that the product remains the same after shipment after shipping and you know i test for that as well so like i was saying you don't want to make your products in large quantities because you actually are not able to really test the stability of this product so you i rather make them in smaller batches and make sure i keep you safe okay now like i said earlier it is your responsibility as a formulator to make sure that your products are safe for your customers or your consumers to use after this accelerated testing has been done and i am very very sure that the product is safe and it has gone through series of um accelerated testing and it still remains the same like this product i don't know if you can see it it's a whitening product that I made. If you joined my hydroquinone class, if you joined my hydroquinone class, you will um, understand what I'm saying here. So a lot of you will say, oh, I, bought, I took the class, I, I made the product, my product went rancid. Well, this is a product that I made with the same um, base that I taught you. And this product, I have had it for three weeks and i made i went i let it go through the accelerated testing and you can see that the product is still very very clear the smell and everything is still the same the viscosity it's a little thicker than usual it's a little thicker than before it's best that it is thicker than um running so when it's running you know that things are not well so you can see it it's really really it's a really really nice cream the feel and everything is still the way I made it um, the smell has balanced in a bit it's not as harsh as when I made it the first time so you can see this is the cover this is the cover let me try to bring out the cream so this is the product this is the feel of the product it's still very very nice and creamy and velvety really 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 nice product if you took my hydroquinone class this is our base though this is our base that i've been i, I taught you people and i've been using it to work so most of the time what i do is um and if you're following me if you're on my contact list on whatsapp you will notice that sometimes i go on and i say i have an overstock of this product and i want to sell it off when you make your orders i make the product and i send out your orders if i have a remainder like an overstock i will um, put it up and sell it off on sale that way i've sold up i know that i've sold off that whole batch of product and i'm making a new batch of product all right and um that is why it is good to give your products their um, batch numbers i will also try to see if i can make a video on how i create my batch number so basically your batch number is um the product the name of the product um, um if you're if you're selling cosmetic um, products you have to have a list of all the products that you make and then you number them what i'll do is i'll go ahead and Put the number of this product let's assume that this number the number for this product is zero one okay i'll go ahead and put zero one slash the date that it was produced if it was produced on today's date is what 20 what let's just say 11th if it was produced on the 11th i'll go ahead and put zero one slash 11 and then if it was produced in november i'll put zero zero one slash 11 slash 11 slash 2020 or 20 um slash 22 zero one slash 11 slash 11 slash 22 that's zero one for the product um, code eleventh for the month that it was produced eleventh for uh, for the date that it was produced and eleventh for and the other one for the um year that it was produced i hope i'm not blabbing because right now i'm distracted by the cars the trucks that are moving up and down in my street because i'm directly in front of my window and i don't understand why they are making that noise it keeps distracting me that is it now why i'm telling telling you about your batch numbers is so that you are able to track any problem with your product so if a customer complains that oh my product went bad or you know my product did that my product did this you are able to recall those products like you know 
contact the customers that bought that particular batch of products so that you can ask them if they are experiencing the same issues. Do you understand? If they are not experiencing the same issues, it then means that customer maybe has contaminated her products by herself. But if two or three different people or four or five different people that bought the same product and have the same issues, then it means that you have to recall that product. Of course, you won't be able to recall it. So what I do is I just send out you know another product to them to replace that one okay so yeah that's that on batch size or batch and maybe I'll, I'll do a video on how to create your batch numbers and write out your product um, codes and all of that once I know that my product is safe and okay for me to sell to my customers I will go ahead and now create the product in a large quantity so now that um, document that I have made will enable me produce the same product and get the same result. I don't have to go through the testing period again because I already have tested this product and I'm using the same method, the same, the only time I will go through an, a, another um, stability test on that product is maybe if I change the formula or added something or removed something because some of you will send me messages and say you don't want this particular oil in your product or you don't want this, you don't want that. And if I'm custom making that product for you, I will have to allow the product go through a stability test. I'm sorry that this truck keeps making noise. So I will go ahead and test it again if I change anything. But if I don't change anything and I'm going with that product, that formula again, I just go ahead and, you know, use it um, as it is. Or, in, for example, maybe I'm trying to make a product and I don't have a particular ingredient and I have to substitute it with another ingredient. I will go ahead and create, make an accelerated testing on that product just so that I know I will not have issues with that product my customers will enjoy the benefits of that product and you know everybody is happy so yeah um i think that's all on stability tests so you can generally you can basically do your own stability test at home um even if um you don't have the facilities to make do all the lab designs because definitely and it's always very advisable that if you have the means and you can test your products in a lab please go ahead and do it but we don't have that um, luxury so we go ahead and use these methods and it has been proven to give us good results 90 percent of the time okay so yeah that is that i like i said i will try and always um listen to your or read your comments and then see the things that you guys want me to talk about and um, make a video around that because I see a lot of you ask me um, What's the shelf life for this product? What's the shelf life for this product now? This product is my product that I'm making with ingredients that are um, Available to me now I might be using a different brand of distilled water and you're using a different brand of distilled water So it is best that you do your stability testing at home even if you're using my recipes on YouTube it is advisable that you create your own stability test at home so you know that the product that you're making is stable and is good and okay for you to use all right so yeah that is all about um this product this topic i hope that i have been able to you know give you an insight as to how you can do these things yourself and you know be okay now like i said earlier this is going to be this is going to be a um, series that I'm going to start making, basically teaching you the basics of skincare formulations and things that you're supposed to know and um, before you start creating your formula. Because I come on here and I show you how to make cream, but I actually don't really show you or teach you the basics of formulations, which is why you should also get our ebook. Because the ebook, like you will expect the ebook doesn't actually teach you about you don't it doesn't give you recipes yes there are recipes on there that you can use to uh test out your products you know you can use to test out your production skills and all and some of those products don't get me don't don't get me wrong some of those recipes are actually actually very very good recipes but the ebook is not focused on recipes okay the ebook is focused on teaching you the basics because I can't come on here and teach you everything that is about skincare. Come on, I have to eat, I have to buy data, I have to pay 
you know for electricity that i used to create my videos i have to pay myself for my time that i used to create the videos and i also um that i used to edit and all of that so you guys please please i will give you as much as i can but you need to you know help me as well so if you want to learn and go in depth about the basics of skincare formulation the basics like things that you should know before you start um, formulating anything then i will advise that you get our ebook the link for the ebook is going to be in the description bar you just go ahead and click on there it will take you to our um, flutterwave store and you can purchase ingredients you can purchase our skincare um, line you can purchase um, our ebook and so many other things on there you can even purchase this outfit that i'm wearing on there so um go ahead and click the link to buy our ebook um if you would like to take classes um for some reason i decided not to take on group trainings for now because group trainings are very very exhausting let me just put that out very very exhausting and people don't appreciate the fact that you take time to come up with these ideas recipes you know and all of that and because i charge you a certain amount of money that is very very small compared to what other people charge you guys don't take it you know you don't you don't appreciate it you're paying you're giving them recipe or you're giving them knowledge that people pay hundreds of thousand for and they are they are they are Nah, I don't even know how to say it. So for now, I'm not going to be giving out um, group trainings, but you can buy our course, like the hydroquinone class or hydroquinone course that we just did. You can definitely reach out to us on our WhatsApp. The last WhatsApp link is down in the description bar. Reach out to us on our WhatsApp to buy these courses. We have our corrective base cream class, which is the hydroquinone class. You can go ahead and pay for it and we will send you all the information you need for the training we also have our specialist um whitening cream or whitening lotion or whitening skincare um emulsion class which is basically showing you how i make this product this is what i use this is the product i use so i alternate between the regular and the premium the premium has way more sophisticated ingredients this is a follow-up this is like this is the product and then the premium is like an upgraded version okay so when i upgraded this product i didn't trash it because it's a very good product i didn't just throw it away so i upgraded it and then so we have the premium and the regular this is the regular this is the one i use most of the time because i do i i don't want to be like this so um i have the premium and i have the regular i alternate between them so the specialist class is where i taught you guys if you have to, if you were in on that class i taught you guys how to make this product okay if you would like to learn i think there are about four or five recipes and then i gave out recipe for pink lip and all for free if you want to get this course as well we have this course for sale then if you are if you want to get the general course basically everything everything from how to test your product how to market your product how to troubleshoot bad if or fail the motion so we have those three courses available um for you to choose from but we don't have group trainings i'm not doing group any basically what we do is for the group if a product if a if a course is three hundred thousand naira because we know a lot of people will find it difficult to you know bring out three hundred thousand. we decide sometimes to split that money for a certain number of people so for example the product is maybe um the cost is hundred thousand naira. we can decide to um, share the cost to 10 people to pay ten thousand naira each and we still get the fee for the cost but people have re have recently showed me that you know they don't appreciate when you do stuff for them so we don't have any group trainings anymore at least until for now till further notice so if you want to get um this product if you want to learn how to make this product and so many other knowledge that you would get reach out to us on whatsapp and we will give you the link or give you the syllable for each of these um courses and yeah also if you want to buy my skincare product this product is listed in my um my flutterwave store the link is down below just click on that link and 
purchase this product and be on your way to having a flawless beautiful glowing skin it's not cheap to have a nice skin is not just you know buying any kind of cream you see some people will tell you that your products are too expensive ah how can i buy one cream for twenty-five thousand naira? ah it's too expensive and then they'll go and buy cream for 5k and still come back to you and say oh i used the cream and he gave me some bun he gave me this no way our creams are legit great great creams even the ones that we made with hydroquinone is safe with we, we in the in the training i taught you how to make this product safely the best vehicle to carry hydroquinone into your cream um when you get um product problems with hydroquinone is when they add it with stems um, mercuries and all of that so yeah this product is listed both the face cream the body cream is listed in our shop you can go ahead and buy it from there i don't want this video to be too long because i'm just looking at myself in the in my viewfinder and i look too cute so i feel like i should just stay here and just be talking to you guys but okay so don't forget you can get our ebook the ebook is ten thousand naira it's you can get it from the Etsy, from the Flutterwave store and on our WhatsApp. So you can send us a WhatsApp message and tell us you want to buy the ebook and we'll give it to you. And you can also buy it from the web from the website and then we'll send it to you. Now this product is on a uh, is on sale for the period that this batch is available. Um, we have about seven of these left so if you would want to get it go ahead and shop this product on our website quickly before it runs out quickly very quickly so go ahead go on there and shop this product for a token very very small money and we are also running a pro a promo on this product for you guys so yeah and i think that is all that i have to say to you guys thank you so much if you have watched this product if you have watched this video till this time please 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 take your time to subscribe down below hit the notification bell so you are notified every time i post a new video make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it helps my video any question you have about this video topic or you have any question at all about skincare please leave a question leave your comment in the comment section and i will do well to pick the questions that are most asked and i will make a video on it for you guys to see and on that note i will say please share this video for other people to see use the link down below to shop this outfit on our shop and yeah we ship worldwide i think um i think that's all for today and i will see you guys in my next video bye